I'm opposed to this progressive movement. I hate Trump. I just to be clarified that I hate Trump, but I don't like this idea of this progressive movement that says if we disagree with you, we're going to silence you. There is no communication in that. That is another form of communism. Go along to get along because we want this way. And if you don't like it, kick rocks. I have some difficult news for everyone. The progressive liberal agenda isn't about being nice. It's about confronting evil, violence, trauma, and death. It's about acknowledging the ways systemic power, systemic oppression, systemic evil work in our world around us. I'm not fighting for diversity. I'm not fighting for tolerance. I'm fighting to overturn horrific systems of dehumanizing oppression. If you want to pretend that the racial and gender horror in the world has already been righted, was righted in the 1960s, is almost righted now, or can hope to come close to being righted in your lifetime, you're not getting the picture. We have a collective buildup of hundreds, thousands of years of injustice to metabolize. A hundred people got arrested in Washington, D.C. How many? For vandalism, the protests. Yes, it's important for intellectual growth to have variety. It's important that unpopular ideas get a hearing. It's important for there to be debate and changes of heart and to allow sincere disagreements to continue to wrestle with one another for clarification. I have no interest in our universities being populated by people who think like me, but I do have an interest in them being populated with people who think. Their roots run deep, both culturally and spiritually. All worldviews are not inherently equal. Conservative thinking is, by definition, bent on conserving the status quo. It is often regressive, a shrinking, a backward movement a return to previous points in cultural, political, and intellectual development. The fact that humanities departments are exceptionally lacking in conservatives and dogmatically religious people highlights this reality. Psychology, poetry, sociology, political science, people who have wrestled with the human condition, the human soul, literature, and art, are the least likely to give credence to backwards ideas that are diminishing to human value and human Love dignity. And Love and caring. We intend when liberals create. storm the city's streets to protest, rally, and yes, riot in response to a Trump election, conservatives cry foul. They cry, double standard. Liberals expect conservatives to accept election results that they don't like. Why won't the liberals accept election results that didn't go in their favor? Why won't the liberals be relativists like we want them to be and treat all outcomes as equally valid? Because all political decisions aren't equally right, aren't equally moral, aren't equally recognizing of human dignity and justice and freedom. Because democracy isn't the only value we hold. I appreciate that you guys just stopped and called the intersection, so that's really good. We don't accept the 51% enslaving the 49 by popular vote. We believe in human rights. We believe in the Bill of Rights. Because we balance the will of the people with the sanctity of each individual life. And no, your right to not sell flowers doesn't outweigh someone else's right to get married. Because not all rights are equal. This is what democracy looks like. Because Hitler was brought to power by a democratically elected government. Because American slavery was legal. The right is also willing to confront the government with action more direct than voting. Holding themselves up with assault rifles to maintain unpaid access to grazing on public lands. Or just because the government might seize those assault rifles. If the government takes our guns, we'll have no way of stopping the government from taking our guns. The left, meanwhile, is roaring in the streets about the countless deaths of unarmed black Americans by the people charged with keeping them safe. Roaring in the streets about environmental devastation that the smartest humans among us agree poses a threat to all human life. Roaring in the streets about an admitted sexual predator being appointed as administrator over our nation's federal law enforcement. Conservatives 
Not having taken to the streets to riot when Obama was elected doesn't prevent us from taking to the streets to direct as much resistance to Trump as humanly possible. Because Trump and Obama aren't equal. Conservatives being deeply outraged and fearful when Obama was elected doesn't negate or somehow counterbalance the outrage and fear on the left right now. Because the right was afraid of ridiculous, imagined fantasies of end times persecution and wildly inaccurate information. When the primary source of terror in living under Obama administration is that he's a Muslim, you don't have one ounce of sympathy from me. Yes. I am deeply, painfully aware of the left's failures, but the overall movement for dismantling curiarchy, for human dignity, for restorative justice, is stifled by bullshit, misdirection, and gaslighting. <laughs>